And police in Shelton continue to investigate the circumstances surrounding a stabbing that left a 17 year old boy dead and injured three others. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi is live at the police headquarters. Lauren, what are the latest details? Still a very active investigation going on here this morning. Police have not yet released the name of the teen who was killed, but police do tell us that he was from Shelton, and we also know that that teen attended Fairfield College Preparatory School in Fairfield. Take a look. Fairfield Prep sending us this statement. It says, It is with profound sadness that the Fairfield Prep community mourns the sudden loss of one of our juniors. As the school responds to our grieving community, we hold him and his family and friends in our prayers at this difficult time. Well, this all unfolded on Saturday just before midnight. Police say they responded to Laurel Glen Drive on a report of a fight and a stabbing. When police got there, they say a number of teenagers were outside of a home. Officers say they found four stabbing victims. They were given medical attention on scene before being taken to the hospital. Police say one of those victims, a 17-year-old boy, later died of his injuries. Shelton detectives continue to investigate the circumstances surrounding the stabbing with the help of the Milford State's Attorney's Office. Meantime, condolences for that teen killed continue to pour in, including from local schools and elected officials. The principal of Notre Dame High School in Fairfield tweeting in part, words don't describe the sadness and incomprehensible loss of life at such a young age. Please pray for PrEP and the family. And Fairfield's first select woman at tweeting in part, please pray for this family for their incredibly painful loss of their precious child and for the PrEP community for the loss of one of their students. Well, as for the investigation, no arrests have been made at this time. Police are asking anyone with information, especially videos of this incident, to call them in Shelton. Warren Fabrizi, News 12, Connecticut.